Assalamualaikum waalaikumsalam continuation of our program peace be upon you in this edition of our program we will talk uh, about the, the last 10 days of Ramadan and how can we worship God in these blessed days and now we are joined by uh, Dr. Asma Zaini an Islamic researcher at Al-Azhar good afternoon Dr. Asma good afternoon can you give us uh, uh, some tips how can we worship God in the last 10 days of uh, Ramadan and why they are different from the rest of the month uh, we can say that the month of the Ramadan is uh, the most important month of the whole Islamic calendar and the 10 last days of Ramadan are the most important days of the uh, of the, the whole month if the month is so special and everything is doubled in reward during the month of Ramadan the last 10 days are like a very special reward from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that the age of this nation, the, the Muslim nation, is shorter than the previous na nations. Like other prophets, people used to live like hundreds of years. Uh, Prophet, uh, may Allah peace and blessings be upon him, said that the, the average age of this Muslim nation is between 60 and 70, yes. and very few exceed this age. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that our life is little bit is short compared to other nations. That's why we are giving like the month of Ramadan. You do a little bit of work of worship and you have a very, very big reward. And also during the last 10 nights of Ramadan, 10 days and nights, it is the same. If it is doubled during the other days, during the last 10 days of Ramadan, everything is doubled in double. Uh, the K is one of the pillars of uh, Islam. Uh, we would uh, like to learn more about this matter from you. And uh, the K of money for women, it is its condition and how can women pay them? Yes, the K is one of the pillars or the main pillars of Islam, the five pillars of Islam. It is the third pillar. Uh, 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 we are, as Muslims, uh, men and women are ordered to perform the K whenever we have what we call Nisab. A certain amount of money we ho we hold for a whole year, uh, and it, it reaches a nisab. A certain amount it is equal to uh, 55 grams of uh, gold, whatever the price of gold is. Uh, if you hold this nisab and uh, it, it 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 is in your possession for a whole year, you are ordered to perform zakah. Zakah is like 2.5 percentage of the money, like one of four. Uh, out of 40, if you're going to have shares like 40 shares, zakah is only one share of 40. Yes. And is it per uh, permissible uh, to advance uh, the care payment for the following year in order to benefit from uh, uh, the reward in the month of Ramadan? 
uh, it is preferable that you wait until you have the, the, the complete year, the hawl, the whole year. Mm. But if you are seeking the reward of Ramadan because everything is doubled in reward, some scholars said, yes, you can pay your zakah as early as possible during the month. Yes, and uh, also uh, the cattle fitra is a purification uh, for fasting. Can you tell us uh, more about this matter? And if someone forget to pay it, uh, what should he do? Subhanallah, the cattle fitra is so special form of zakah. Why? Because we are ordered to perform zakah from our money. If it is money, money. If it is like uh, plants and, and, and mm. uh, crops and things, out of the crops and teas. The sadaqat al-fitr or, or uh, the, the zakah that you perform especially during the month of Ramadan, uh, as the Prophet said, it is a purification of your fasting. If you commit something what is haram or okay. you didn't perform something in the perfect way, that's we are performing uh, sadaqat al-fitr or zakat al-fitr. Uh, it is uh, a special amount of food. The Prophet وسلم, said that you should perform it in form of food. Of course, some scholars said it is permissible to pay money, the, the value of this food for the poor, but is the, 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 the main shape of this sadaqah, of the, this sadaqah, to perform it in kind of like wet and rice and, and food. Uh, if someone uh, forget to pay it, uh, is his fasting accepted? Uh, yes, it is accepted, but it is not as complete as the one who performed yes. sadaqah. If you missed to, to perform it during the last, until the prayer of Eid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it as sadaqah, not as sadaqah al-fitr. Hmm. It, is, it is much preferable that you pay it during the last 10 nights or the night of Eid. Yes. Uh, charity and the importance of being careful about uh, doing it in Ramadan, uh, especially in these uh, difficult economic conditions. Uh, what is your advice to people? Yes, chari charity is one of the most important forms of solidarity of the Muslim community. And even the non-Muslim communities are looking with admiration at Muslim communities when they pay this very big amount of money as a kind of charity. Mm -hmm. And yes, the world is in need. Even it is permissible for Muslims to pay, to, to, to pay zakah for people, who, this is a share of the care for people who are not Muslim, not uh, Muslims yet. It is something uh, highly recommended to pay this share of the care to perform your zakat duly at its time. And to there are seven types of people who deserve your zakat. Among them is a type of people who are not Muslims yet. Yes, dear viewers, a short break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, we sent the Qur'an down during the night of decree. And what can make you know what is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. The last 10 days of Ramadan are an opportunity to gain multiple rewards by giving sadaqah to those in need for the sake of seeking the pleasure of Allah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, if any Muslim comes out of Ramadan without gaining forgiveness and goodness, he is a real loser. The last 10 days of Ramadan are very special days in the life of every Muslim. According to Muslims, 
They are the most blessed nights in the blessed month of Ramadan, the month of the Holy Quran. Muslims believe that although Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was promised paradise, he used to exert himself even more in worship during these last 10 days and nights, hoping to draw closer to Allah. The Prophet's wife, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, with the start of the last 10 of Ramadan, the Prophet used to tighten his waist belt, uh, i.e. work hard, and used to pray all night and used to keep his family awake for the prayers. For Muslims, the last 10 nights of Ramadan should be time to perfect one's fast and avoid anything that may break it. It is a time to give more charity and to settle disputes and forgive one another. It is also a time for soul searching, evaluating one's life, supplicating and asking forgiveness. This should be done sincerely because if Allah accepts the supplications, the reward is the uh, remission of one's sins. Laylatul Qadr also occurs during the last 10 days of Ramadan. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Any Muslim who stands in prayer during Laylatul Qadr out of faith and sincerity, his previous sins will be forgiven. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Peace and the blessings of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad, his family and his companions. The night of creed, Laylatul Qadr, is a great night in the month of Ramadan. In this night, the Quran was revealed to upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرِ تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرِ سَلَامٌ هِيَا حَتَّى مَطْلَعِ الْفَجْرِ The Quran was revealed upon our Prophet in the creed night. The scholars mentioned Many sayings about why this night called the night of creed, Laylatul Qadr. The first opinion, they said, it is the greatness night. The second opinion, they mentioned that the angels crowded in the land. And the land full of angels as a mercy from our Lord. The second or the third opinion that the Quran was revealed to upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him in this night. Finally, we ask Allah to forgive our sins, peace and the blessings of Allah upon you. Welcome back uh, and uh, we are still uh, discussing uh, the benefits of uh, the last 10 days of Ramadan. How can we worship God in these special days? And uh, we are still hosting our dear guest, uh, Dr. Asma Zaini, Islamic researcher at Al-Azhar. Yes, Dr. Asma. If we uh, talk about uh, Laylat al-Qadr and uh, uh, how can people uh, worship God in this special night? Uh, the night of Qadr or Laylat al-Qadr, as the Prophet said about it, it is one night during the last ten nights of Ramadan. It is not known exactly which night. The Quran said, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylat al-Qadr, the Quran was revealed on this night. Mm. Uh, it was known very well for the Prophet. Uh, may Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. And he was going, to, uh, going out for the Muslims to tell them about the night until he heard people fighting with each other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't order him to tell Muslims which night of the last 10 nights of Ramadan is Laylatul Qadr to make people very keen to, to search for it during the last 10 nights. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is a night of these nights. If we don't know, so we are ordered to perform our ibadah during, on, on its perfect form during the last 10 nights. Some scholars said it is in one night. of the odd nights, yes. 
but uh, but it's not sure about yes it. scholar said that you should be doing your best during the last little night whether uh, odd or, or even yes even or odd can you tell us uh, how uh, prophet uh, muhammad uh, peace be upon him worship god in this special night laylatul qadr you mean uh, 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 Lady Aisha said when the uh, and other uh, wives of the yeah. Prophet said whenever the, the, the ten last nights of Ramadan approach, the Prophet will would stay up the whole nights. Ahya Layla who shaddam izara who wajadda wajadda fil ibad. Doing during these last nights, he would perform ibadah during the prayer during the whole night. He is going to 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 like to hold his stomach. This is a remark that he is not eating a lot. And there is something so special during the last night of Ramadan that we are ordered to perform. Men are ordered and some women also are ordered to perform, which is i'tikaf. I'tikaf is a very special form of worship. You leave everything. You leave your home, your children, your work, your study, your, what, your life, and go for hours inside the mosque to stay with Allah only, to, to contemplate about your life. What are you doing during this dunya? How you are going to get ready for the akhirah? This is, we are ordered, highly ordered to observe the ibadah of i'tikaf during the last night of Ramadan, which is very special form of ibadah. Mm. The plants and the trees. He created the birds and bees. He created the oceans and seas. Some of his many bounties. Can you tell us more what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said to his uh, wife Lady Aisha about Laylatul Qadr when she asked him about it? Yes, once Lady Aisha asked Prophet uh, Muhammad, may Allah's peace and the blessing be upon him. If I, um, uh, if I were to know which night is Laylatul Qadr, what, what should I make dua during this night? The very famous dua that the Prophet taught her was, Allahum innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'afana. Oh Allah, you love forgiveness and please forgive me. Mm. This is the most preferable dua to make during this night. You can even make it your only dua. Of course, we make dua for ourselves, for yes. our beloved ones, and uh, to have uh, very uh, good things. But this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes most to hear from you. Allahum innaka afuhun tuhibbul afwa fa'afuhun. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, we sent the Qur'an down during the night of decree. And what can make you know what is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. Is steadfastness in obedience after Ramadan is a sign that God accepted our prayers and our fasting? I usually tell my, my friends and tell people when they talk about how, what to do after the month of Ramadan, I usually tell them, if the month of Ramadan is not going to stay with us during the whole year, you can take things from Ramadan to, to remain with you during the other months. If you are able during the month of Ramadan to read, for example, the whole Quran, 
people may read the whole Quran once or twice. Mm. You should keep reading at least one page, page of the yes every day. If you are able to fast a whole 30 days, you can fast during the other months like one day or two and mm. things like this. Take tokens from Ramadan to, to remain with you during the month. Keep your charity if little bit. Keep your uh, honesty, being honest, not to doing something. You are able. The month of Ramadan comes to tell you that you are able to do what you want to do. So, uh, what are the lessons learned from the holy month of Ramadan? Uh, many, many lessons we can learn from the month of Ramadan. You know that you are strong enough mm. when you are able to fast. You know that you are. Some people say that uh, my, my temper is so bad when I'm not drinking coffee or tea. But you are able not to stay for hours, or people who are uh, uh, used to smoking or doing whatever. They say you, we cannot make it. But actually, Ramadan teaches you that you are able, you are strong enough. Here, just you are able to do what, whatever you want to do. This is one of the lessons that we can learn from the month of Ramadan. Also, um, uh, how is the holy month of Ramadan is considered the beginning of true repentance for some people? Yes, yes. Uh, I usually encourage people that uh, some people tell you, you are only praying during the month of Ramadan. You are doing yes. good. You are do good deeds. Yes, I encourage people to do this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, وَحَبَّبَ إِلَيْكُمُ الْإِيمَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make ibadah beloved to you. Make you want to do good things. Don't feel ashamed that only during the month of Ramadan you are wearing uh, mm. white clothes or whatever. Do whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can help you to do during this month because it is very special. <laughs>
another fast uh, Ramadan and follows it with the six days of the month of Shawwal is uh, is considered as if fasting the whole year. Yeah. Can you tell us more about the, the importance of fasting the six days of Shawwal? Yes, this is another reward from Allah. It is another gift because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that our, the, the, the life of um, the Muslim nation is not as long as previous nations, other nations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave uh, as, as al-hasana ba'ashr amsaliha. The month of Ramadan is 30 nights. Each one is, is in, uh, equal 10. So hmm. these are like 300. So it comes the six nights after the six days after the, from Shawwal after the month of Ramadan to make like a whole year. That is the explanation of the man saama Ramadan atba'u bi sitti min shawal fa ka'annama saama al-dhahra kulla the whole year, your whole year. So it is something yani we encourage all people to do after the month of Ramadan. It's a true hadith. Yes, yes, it is true hadith. And Allah and the Prophet was so keen to fast these nights, days, and ordering Muslims to perform saum, yes. Uh, how can uh, we preserve uh, the spirit of Ramadan in visiting and upholding ties of kinship throughout the year, not only in Ramadan? Yes, one of the most beautiful things that we as Egyptians especially are keen on having during the month of Ramadan, that we are visiting our relatives and inviting, inviting them to our homes during to break the fast together. This is a very good thing that we can, if we are not too, we are too busy during the other days of the, the year. We can make it like one month, one, one time each month to visit our relatives and have this connection with them. If we are able, able to do this many, many visits during the month of Ramadan, we are able to do the same during the whole year. Yes. Uh, also, um, uh, the month of Ramadan uh, comes to an end uh, as everything ends, and the Lord of Ramadan remains uh, the rest and the one who is aware of our deeds. How can uh, we preserve the obedience that we kept in Ramadan and extend uh, it throughout uh, the year? Yes, we are worshipping, we are doing our best during the month of Ramadan only for the sake of Allah. If the month ends, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us during the whole year. Do as, as much good as you can. If even it is so small, too little, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to see that you are doing your best. You are trying your best. In prayer, in reading the Quran, in doing the, making dhikr and dua, and making istighfar, whatever. Show Allah that you are willing to come close to him, uh, whether during the month of Ramadan or after it. Finally, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Asma Zini, an Islamic researcher at Al-Azhar. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much. And by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's edition of our program, Peace Be Upon You. Thank you for watching.